Skyrim again. I was going to do some composing today, but thought, no, okay, this is the wrong, the wrong game save. Good start. Good start. Well, we're going to where we left our hero last in Bleak Falls Barrow.
I met two dudes um, in the first stream. This is the second. So one guy's name was Calibernius, and he was cool. He's he's from Oregon. He's from LA, but he moved to Oregon. And a Norwegian guy named Eric. Eric McGoffel. Hopefully, they'll drop by tonight. But maybe they won't. So we're just going to continue the ongoing adventures of Rain. R A N E, Rain. Yeah, not, not as in Rain, the Korean pop star, or as in the precipitation, but R A N E. Oh, it's this. Is this doesn't this look like the chamber in the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark where Alfred Molina says we must hurry there is nothing to fear here and Harrison Ford pushes him against the wall that's what scares me and they step over here and you think that the poison darts come out the wall Stay here. Or, yeah, stay here. If you insist, senor. So he comes up, but there's no idol. There's no idol. There's just this wall. And Rain is a pretty smart guy, so he figures out. From the book that Arnell left behind. Okay, what does the book say? Arnell's journal. Fingers are trembling. The golden claw, which I have now, is finally in my hands. With it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool, Luke and Valerius, had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get the Hall of Stories, get to the Hall of Stories, and unlock the door. I presume this is the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Now, my character is not as smart as I am. I'm not, I don't think it's a matter of intelligence, a matter of I've played this game a thousand times, but Rain has not, so. Without uh, too much metadata or meta meta gaming, he's gonna look at this thing. The palm of your hands. So he's gonna look at this, the golden claw. He'll turn it around, and he'll go, "Oh, it's the claw," and he sees this hole and these things, animals. He'll go, oh, the palm of the claw. There's a bear. There's a moth looking thing and what looks like an owl. Okay. Three animals in a circle. Three circles up here. After probably an hour of him pulling his hair out and wondering why he has to solve these silly puzzles, he'll figure it out eventually. He may fail once or twice, and if he does, this is what will happen. Nothing. And he'll get all frustrated. And then he'll figure out, oh, three animals. And he'll go, okay. Turn those things around, he'll figure out he can do it. Bear. Moth. Whoops, whoops. Fire, moth, and owl. And he'll go, okay, that's what it looks like. And boom. Pretty clever, no? Yeah. It takes him a little while, but 
he figures stuff out. Doesn't he didn't have a lot of time for you know a liberal education when he was a kid. He was too busy taking care of his family. If you read the uh, the backstory. I think it's warm enough in here, we don't need to have the big old fur coat on. Fur cloak. Alright. Up he goes. Oh, look at this. Oh. Bats. Oh. You know, I've done this room probably hundred times, maybe, in the last nine years. hundred times? Maybe, maybe a hundred times. And I've never, ever noticed there's an iron ore vein here. I even know about the two hidden chests behind the whole pedestal in the back of the room. Rain doesn't, though, unless he feels like searching, he's not going to know about them. See, I'm doing my best to do a little kind of light RP. I'm not going to do the whole... Oh, more bats. I'm not going to do the whole pretending to voice act this guy or mumble what he's thinking. I've seen that before. It's pretty cool when people do that and they're good at it. But... I'm a, it makes me cringe a little, so I'm just gonna be me, and the voice you're hearing is my are my thoughts when I'm playing a game, and also with the knowledge that there might be people watching either live, not right now, but uh, or in a video someday. I really doubt many people will watch this, but. If you do, you know, bless you. Bless you for watching. You have patience. Okay. Rain, because of his backstory, has a problem with soul trapping. He doesn't like necromancers, will not participate in any form of necromancy as far as he can tell. So, if trapping a soul is stealing their soul away to be used for, you know, for their purposes, for power. He won't, he won't do it. But he knows that sometimes he picks up magic weapons that are powered by souls. And rather than throw, uh, not use that weapon, he'll use those souls, but he'll com use them combating evil. So that, you know, he, he can't get the soul out of the, of the soul gem once it's in there. He doesn't know how to do that. Or I don't even know if it's possible. But what he, um, So he doesn't trap souls. He will use them to fight evil. For the good fight. Um, and he used to just kind of pass by the empty soul gems, like this little petty one here. But... He's starting to wonder if he took this soul gem and smashed it and or maybe melted it down and destroyed it in uh, you know in what something that he would be familiar with like the, uh, the fires of a forge blacksmith forge because he's a blacksmith that he would prevent that empty soul gem from being used to trap a soul, so he'll consider it kind of like 
It's like if you're anti-gun or something by, you know, melting down the barrel or something. I don't know what you, I don't know what you do. But uh, frenzy poison, yeah, it's not really his style. Poison stuff, it's a little wholesome for that. He's not a cleric, cleric, respiration guy. He's mostly just interested in kicking some necromancer butt. That's basically his thing now. Because he destroyed his family. Ooh, nice stuff. Amethyst, gold, 100 gold. Okay, we're gonna use we're gonna destroy this petty soul gem too. So. But if he finds a full soul gem, he'll use it and free it in the good fight. He won't destroy the filled soul gem because that would be destroying a soul. He's, he does have a moral compass. It's not it's not the brightest guy in the world, but he does he does know what. When he's doing good and bad, his mother taught him well. A scroll of Conjure Craft Lord. I'm not sure what that would do. Azure Reconstruction. Uh, he'll sell it. A staff? Probably sell that too. He's mostly a blade and restoration, like attack restoration guy. this. He doesn't know what this is. What's this thing? Is it gonna, is it gonna, okay, I don't feel pain. What's this? Something written. It's in the dragon language. Well, he wouldn't know that, would he? Okay. Not sure what that is. Oh. Alright, some undead. Destroy. Okay. I don't know if that talk. Oh, that axe is doing something to me. Hold me down. Just learning how to use restoration magic, so he should practice as much as he can. Hello, viewer. If you want to chat, go right ahead. I don't know how attentive I am to the chat log, but you can try me. What's this? It's a dragon stone. And what's this dragon stone? All right. What's this? It, it has some writing on the back. And if I can read this dragon tongue, it says, Redeem this tablet at any local Denny's to receive a free ice latte with any purchase greater than $12. All right. I'm keeping that. Yeah. Do I need an iron shield? Can I carry it? Yes, okay. All right, thank you, Draugr, Overlord. Anything else? I think he's just gonna be excited and leave. Oh, I know there are two chests behind there. He doesn't, and he's creeped out a little. Get this. I won't lie. I want to go back and get those other chests, but 
I always do. I'm not going to do it this time. Hmm. The way out. It's all this then. It's like a shrine or something. Hmm. Rain, this character of mine, he respects the dead. Except the undead. The regular old dead that people come by and pay tribute to, he's fine with that. He respects that. But if they start getting up and walking around, um, yeah, look out. Ooh, we're almost level nine. And it's late. What time is it? Oh, it's 11. He's going to need some fur cloak. And... Okay, that went all right. What's this? this? Ocean of true shot. Right? Why not? If he's not the greatest shot in the world, I might, you know, every little bit helps. Okay, do we camp here? I see a lot of bones around. That probably means they either fell off the mountain or there's a predator around. Ooh, I spy an ore. Ore vein. This isn't iron. This is corndom, yes. Okay, viewer, if you know I'm sp if I'm pronouncing corundum wrong, is that right? Corundum or corundum or corundum or corundum? I don't know. I'm not a geologist. It's raining. Fur cloak is not the best idea then. Let's put on the hide cloak because it's raining. Too wet and cold. Just make sure we're. Okay, white claw. How far away are we from Riverwood, which is where we're going? Okay, not too far. Just go around the mountain there. Think we can make it before freezing? Make it there in an hour? And it's too late to visit the Riverwood Trader, because he would be, they'd be sleeping now, so maybe I can get in there and go to the Riverwood Tavern or something. I forget what that's called. The Inn in Raver, Raver, in Riverwood. Sounded like the wolf killed a rabbit. But I didn't hear Ride of the Valkyries and Bugs Bunny singing. No, I don't think he killed the rabbit. Okay. Remember, I have instincts. So I think part of the instinct thing is you can smell a carcass or something. There's, oh, okay, maybe over here. Oh, look. See, I would never have found this without the instinct power. Search the rabbit. Okay. I don't kill rabbits myself, but they're good eating. I don't hunt rabbits. I won't hunt a rabbit. I'll hunt a deer, a bear, and stuff like that, but... Um, you know, 
not not me personally, not me in real life. I'm talking about rain in this fantasy world where you cook the meat that you skewer with arrows. Yeah. I do not live in a world where I need nourishment by killing animals. I'll, uh, I'll pay the system to kill the animals for me. Okay. Sorry, my friends who are vegetarians. I respect the ideals of vegetarianism. I do. Maybe someday when I've reached a higher level of maturity, I'll join you. Okay. Anise, I am freezing. This I'm is just not a good. Poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Then you won't mind if I come and try to warm myself next to your candle? That won't even work, will it? No, no good. What, what's this? You have a cellar. I hope it's warmer down there. Okay. Make this lock. All right. Down I go. What is a poor old woman doing with all these skulls and stuff? Creepy old woman with a dungeon in a basement. Okay, I'm not warming up, am I? Which is really why I'm down here. Old out there and wet. Getting any warmer, am I? Alright, don't like the arcane enchanter. This character doesn't. Okay, she has a letter. Creepy stuff on the shelf. Hmm. Helgi, dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come. Come live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon, together. We can form a proper coven and your training will truly begin. <laughs> yeah. That's when she would laugh after writing that. A coven of witches? She's a witch. The poor old woman living above is a witch. She's trying to get her daughter? I don't know. It doesn't say who this Helgi is. Friend? I don't know. Niece? She's trying to lure her away from her love boy, her, her lover boy, to come and join she, she and her sister in the forest to become a coven. I don't know. That would make three of them. Can you make a coven with three? I thought you needed 13. Or am I just making that up? I don't know. How many... How many witches does it take to make a coven? Is it 13? That seems like a wicked enough number. Three? It's not a proper coven, I don't think. Maybe in some, in some practices of Wicca, it is. Any Wiccans out there can let me know. I'd love to know. No, I won't join your coven, but I just want to know. How many witches does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Don't, don't ask. Okay, it is hot and... Oh my goodness, she's, she's angry. She's angry at me for invading and finding out her secret. Okay, she says, Fool, none may know my secret. Okay. My Sorry. I won't tell anyone.
come closer. Ooh, she got fire. Oh no. You need to learn some manners. How about you? How are those manners? How do you like them manners? Okay, and I'm freezing. I'm not taking the blue mage robes, robes off of an old witch. Okay, we are making... Making a fire right here. I hope I don't freeze to death before I do so. I don't think I have wood. Firewood. Yeah, she doesn't have anything burning that can get me, can warm me up in that shack of hers, so just have to do it this way. Oh, that's it. Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to make do. Tundra cotton. Okay. It's not going to be enough, is it? off. Freezing to death. I'm not going to make it. I throw myself on the fire. Should I have made it closer? Should I have built it closer to the, the cabin? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What if drinking soup will help stew? Would that work? SOL because it takes a half hour to chop wood. I think I might be dead by then. Oh, Maybe she has some fire. This is not gonna work. Why did you say so before? I did say so before. 30 minutes goes by, am I still alive? Oh, no. I collapse. Before completely succumbing to exposure, a nearby hunter discovers you while venturing out in search of game. You awaken to find yourself at their campsite, frostbitten, but otherwise intact. You know, I'm glad I didn't make any enemies among the hunters. <sighs> All right, so I'm not doing great. Frostbite, that's not good. Oh, I am definitely helping this guy out if I can. Completely warm. Okay, good. This fire. The guy saved my life. What can I give him? Hmm. I, I need to get some. I still have the dead wood I chopped before collapsing and frozen. I'm a really early level character, so don't have a lot of resistances built up. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. 
and I hope you hunt and fish for a lot more. Poaching is hurting everyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Dude, I will vouch for you. Take a look. I will buy whatever you got. What you could just gift gold. Yep, I'll buy everything you got. Yep. There you go, buddy. All right, then. Thank you. I won't even steal your coin purse there or from your chest. I am going to leave you in. In peace. for okay okay just think about how I can help this guy fatigued thirsty Minus 30 pickpocket and lock picking. Hey, that makes sense. I don't do much of that anyway. Okay. Not very good weather, is it? Why am I walking so slow? Am I overloaded? That's mu that must be it. Yep. I'm encumbered. All right. Maybe I'll see if I can sell anything to look. him. I just bought all this stuff. I don't know what, what he would buy. Okay. Until next time. Okay. So I've got to... Got about twenty eight something. Okay, thought I heard something. I gotta get rid of a bunch of stuff. So, what can I do? Why don't I craft something? Put that here. I'm not sure exactly what I've got in mind for this thing. Our eight. Two, four, six. Should do it. Nope. Okay. Oh, two more. Eight. Is it eight more? No problem. So 
small of a tent. I think that puts our weight below. Unless this... I don't... I don't need to pick it up. Yeah, I think I'm overweight again. Yep. Man. Okay. But not very... Not, not by much. So... Something I can eat. Let's just eat that. I'm going to as usual, overeat. Right. Um, kind of tempting. Hmm. How much time do I have left on my... How, mo how much longer will I be frostbitten. One minute. Okay. I should be better, right? I... Okay, I'm just overloaded. Hunting and fishing and deep... Do I normally only carry Hunt tier 15? You know, I'm, I'm so close to the town anyway, so why don't I just go, unless I'm far away. All right. No, we're, we're okay. Let's go to Riverwood. And no, I do not do... Ooh, what's this? I don't do fast travel. It's against, it's against my principles. It's not immersive. You don't just teleport. Unless, unless you, you know... Part of the game goes, uh, I go, all right, this item makes me teleport. And there are spells in the, I think in the Ordinator set, that mod, which I really like. In the al Alteration School, I think, there are some really cool teleportation spells that are lore friendly, I guess. I don't know if that's debatable, but where you can teleport to white run or teleport to a marked spot that you set up that's those are pretty high level spells but when i do a mage i love those ordinator spells so okay here i am i may have heard about these stones because i grew up near markar so i might have heard about these things but this is the thief stone the mage stone Stone. Okay, I don't really consider myself a thief or a mage, so warrior stone it is. Under the sign of the warrior, inflict more damage with power attacks and long range shots. They gain, okay, they gain ex additional experience in all warrior skills. Yeah. Or effective spells, additional experience, mage skills. All right, quandary. What do I choose? Now I'm, I'm trying to become a restoration expert, and it's happening really slowly right now. And I and I seem to be fighting a lot hand to hand. So I think my skills in that will already rise. So. Rain may be really interested in the magical aspect, so he'll he's gonna think that this might give him a a leg up in the whole magic path. So he's gonna do that. Arcane. 
the mage stone, mage's path. Here we go. Two. 10% faster. And 10% more effective. Scrolls. Don't use scrolls, really. So. All right. Good. Let's hopefully this will get me going faster. And all I know is healing right now. So he's 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 a restoration noob. And we're off to Riverwood. Know, can you see the the sparkly red stuff around my around my face square here? All around all around here. I put that on yesterday. I'm so proud of myself. The OBS... OBS magic. Uh, it's not something I downloaded. It's something that I... What you're looking at, the red sparkles, are... a video that I took with my phone on a red, stony path. And it's red. The stone's painted red on this walking path that me and my wife do near our home. And it's me just... It's, it's of course, it's, you know, filtered a lot, saturated and stuff. Endurance perk available. That's good. That just means that, according to Frostfall, I can get a perk when I light up a fire and choose some skills to advance. I should probably be better able to handle the cold weather, which is good because I just almost froze to death. It's 4 a.m. Are they open? Oh, maybe they are. Doors open. I don't want to scare them. Oh, they're both there. Scare him with my ugly bald head. You guys are still up? What are you doing? It's late, isn't it? Early? Do you guys wake up early? Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. Yeah. Yeah, because you're the tough guy, right? I have the golden claw. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> funny thing, huh? That is funny. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. You're welcome. And thank you for 400 gold. That's not bad. Um, in the last stream, Calibernius mentioned <laughs> that this guy, when he says, Oh, it looks, huh, it looks smaller than I remember. Uh, seemed to him to be he seemed to be implying that I had shaved off some of the gold <laughs> for myself never thought of it that way I just thought it was you know when you it's 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 I now I see it now I actually why you would think that I just thought of it as you know when you when you're missing something when you're missing something you tend to enlarge it in your mind, maybe at least in value. Your brain is telling you how to remember things differently, and that's that's a really cool thing about memory, isn't it? That our memory is very skewed. The way we remember things changes throughout our life. That if we, and if you you know, if you want to try that out. Uh, oh, I wonder if it's different for our generation because we didn't, we weren't videoing everything and taking pictures of everything. Because I grew up in the 70s and um, we had some rough snapshots and the cameras didn't, you know, were non-sound. And if you remember something a certain way and then you see a video of it years later of the actual event, it strikes us as weird because our brain is remembering it very differently. So there's some dissonance there. I think that's fascinating. 
Feel free to chime in, viewer. If you want. Or not. It's up to you. You have the right to remain silent. I won't hold anything against you in a court of law or anything. Okay, um, he Hi. might... Ah, good to see no, you! No, no, I'm sorry. What, did he... what were you saying? You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Oh, I have a friend. Take a look. What do you got? Okay, some basic weapons. Backpack? That would have come in handy. I should have made a backpack before when I set up that I set up that uh, you know tanning rack. Yeah, that would have helped. That would give me fifty points of carrying. No, that's too dumb. I think my brain was frozen. A necklace of daggers. Got some interesting stuff. Ring of smithing. I can afford it, but ah, didn't for other stuff. Cure disease potion. That's gonna come in handy. I won't always be around a healer until I can heal it myself. That will happen someday. Minor healing. Oh, leave the healing to me books lesser ward that's a restoration spell do that oak flesh could come in handy I'm not raising zombies nope that's against his code so here we are and we've got a leather tent already. Just me. Okay, when I when I have more gold to throw around, I'll be buying up. I'll be buying up empty soul gems just to destroy them. Because that's what I do. How many water skins do I have? one empty and three full so yeah I'm fine all right what can I sell this guy the ancient war axe of cold is that what I got off that jogger overlord yeah I think so it's a nice weapon but I'm not really an axe guy. And I think I'm I think I'm old enough to choose not to be an axe guy. I'm not this is not the first fight. He just doesn't like how axes feel. He's a sword guy and a mace guy. Swords and maces. One-handed. Bow of the Conjurer. Where did I get that? Must have been early on. I'm in Daedra. To level 20 are put under your control. Hmm. I've got this crafted bow that it does more damage to everybody else. I don't know when I'm going to be coming across Daedra. I could use the money. Sold. It's not bad. Staff of Unbounded Fire. Unbound Fire. Hmm. Not really a staff guy either. When I say I'm not a staff guy, I mean my character is not a staff guy. When I'm playing a mage... Staves. That's it for that. Amulet of Stendar. I should have been wearing that. Blocking damage and stuff. Iron Shield. I think I can improve that and sell it. Yeah. Do that. 
practice it at the forge. Conjure craft lord. I don't know. I think I think Rain would look at this and say I, this looks like a bad idea. I don't think I'm gonna use this craft. I'm not gonna be conjuring things out of nowhere. Okay. Fireball. I don't see him doing that. We'll, we'll keep one just in case. It'll come in handy. Maybe it'll, yeah, who knows, tuck it away. Radiance. Not really, don't really dabble in the alchemy thing. Why did I pick up these glowing mushrooms? Salt piles and bone meal. I'm not sure where I'll use bone meal. Bone meal. Maybe I'll make... Okay, I just had a weird thought. Um, bone meal. It sounds like something that you would... If <laughs> I thought, oh man, I can make duct tape out of this. Why did I think that? Because in another game, it's a crafting game. It's called Seven Days to Die. If you played Seven Days to Die, if you can you can take bones, grind them up into powder, mix them with I don't know glue, I think. Or you make glue out of bone that's right. You make glue out of bones and murky water in your campfire set. And that becomes glue, and you take glue and you mix that with bandages and you get duct tape and duct tape fixes everything. Um, so I was channeling another game when I thought bone meal is useful, but it's not very useful in this game. It is if you're enchanting stuff because a portable enchanter, you use bone meal to uh, just, just in the ordinator mod, but okay, I'm probably boring you. Forget it, forget I said. Useless to this character, so I won't mention it. Spider eggs. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Tundra cotton. Good for starting fires. Good. All right, go. Thinking out loud. This is called Thinking Out Loud Theater. Hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Okay. As for reconstruction, I'm not going to be making minions. I'm not going to be conjuring anything, so no. Clairvoyance shows the path to the current goal. Rain might be interested in this. I'm not, because the spell is kind of useless. Because of the map. Clairvoyance. Okay. It's illusion, an illusion spell, so. Okay, rain's not really just illusion, but this is. Illusion and alteration are okay, so we'll keep those. Survivor's Guide to Skyrim. I am a survivor. But we'll keep it. <clears throat> what else have we got? All right, that's enough selling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did I do this already? I think I did. Okay. Yeah, that claw looks Riverwood pretty Trader big, dude. What you did you think it looked like? Store. Godzilla's paw, claw, or something? Gee, that's pretty big. It's bigger My than I thought Camilla, it was. Or I will be happy to help you. Camilla. No, I'm not going up there. Rain is not a creep. It's still raining, man. What is this, London? He's probably super tired, right? Let's find out. 
bit fatigued. All right, let's get some shut eye. Is that, is that an expression to tarry for? Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. I will. Get the cold out. While I look up tarry forth. I don't know where I heard that. forth to leave slowly and hesitantly to tarry linger I will not tarry okay okay right tarry means to kind of dawdle so tarry forth is uh, so it's the wrong word I don't know what I was thinking. Old expressions are getting mixed up in my mind. In my mind. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. All Need right. a room? Straightforward Straight guy. I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Did they? That's interesting. Got any water? Of course. It's a terrible impression of this guy. But it's just... One, one thing that I find quirky and weird about... Okay, how can I... How come I can't... Get a room. Hmm? Until next time. I'm just the cook, lad. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, sp I think he, maybe he told me you can get a room from this lady. She's asleep. I don't want to wake her up. Lady. Excuse me. Hey, lady. Lady. Can I get a room? You're that visitor been poking around. Oh. Oh, sorry. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. It's okay. Uh, just tell me where it is. Uh, you don't need to... Right? Okay. I'm gonna go back to sleep. Sorry. Good. Alright, good, good. She did what I said. How about that? She went back to bed. I don't want to bother you or anything. What was I saying? Okay, about this game. Yeah, um... The voice acting is really good, and the list of people that do voice acting for this game is huge. Very large, very long. Tons of people. Then why... Why are we always running into people that sound exactly the same? I mean, I clearly run into one guard who was voiced by this one person, and then I'll run into a person one second later voiced by the same actor and if they're if I'm wrong if I'm if they're not voiced by the same actor why do they sound the same I don't know how it works is it expensive I guess it's expensive I don't know but and that that one guy he voices everyone and he always says this you know use the same voice for everything for every line it's the guy in white run who runs the the blacksmith along with adrian he's just everywhere you're kind of fuzzy what's wrong with you <laughs> i like that guy but then you know maybe i'm just I'm just noticing the, the obvious stuff, but a lot of these guys... Feindolf thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. This guy's voice we hear a lot. He's Sven. You look like a traveler. 
Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. <laughs> so, you know, I don't really care about the romantic trysts of the local mm -hmm. villagery. Villagers. Yeah, I'm so close to level 9. How would I spend it? Smithing, probably, right? Okay. I can do steel already, so maybe I should make some steel armor. Hey, Embry. Still drunk? I ain't done nothing. Ain't used to strangers here in Riverwood. No. I'm not used to you either. I'm not used to Riverwood. All right, ain't someone I can relate to. Yeah. Well, here I am. Whatever you need. Why you smear if it's simple and strong? I can forge it. Oh, really? Simple, huh? Okay. Can I use your I forge? See no harm in it, if you have the skill. Oh, I do. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. Really? I never knew that. You've got the raw materials. You can use the forge to make something new. Okay. Actually, I've kind of done this before. Good day. But thanks for the advice. Okay, tanning rack. Got lots of wolf pelts. And grindstone. Hold it up. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll sharpen my woodcutter axe. Doesn't do much, okay. Good. Can I make some steel armor? Nope. Yeah, I'm sadly missing some steel. And that's not armor I should make yet. Okay, how about steel armor? Do the I can make the excuse me shouldered steel like this or the unshouldered. I like this one. It looks sturdier. Same stats. But I need four steel ingots to do this. And I don't have the leather strips yet, so. For a new blade? No. Not really. Okay, I see steel ingots right there at my feet. Steel is what you need. Leave that fancy elven stuff to the elves. <laughs> right. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Steel, you, all you got is five? All right, I'll buy you out, bro. That's it. That's all I can do. Until next time. I think I, all I can do is make one. I don't know where this headless plate armor comes from. I think it's from a mod, I think. And it's not part of the headless plate armor. Aren't they all headless? Okay, all right, I think I know where it's from. I think the headless plate armor is from a very rare thing that happens once in a while. 
When you're hanging out at night, sometimes a horseman comes by and he has no head. He is, this, he is the headless horseman. And it's kind of spectral, so you can't really see, but I can imagine that this is an asset that belongs to the headless horseman. I have to ignore it, because it's not in the realm of the real world. But it's cool that it exists here. Maybe someday I'll make it. Just wear it for fun. Steel armor. Okay, so if it's three armor strips, four steel ingots, and four. One iron ingot. I can do this and improve it. I'll do it. And I'm up alone. Let's wear my new steel armor. Ooh, exciting. It like, yeah. That's more like it. Right. Let's improve it. level up. Because I'm heading down this magic path, I'm going to put points into magic after a while. Also happen to know if you get, want to gain access to the College of Winterhold, you have to know a little bit more than the average dope does about magic. I should start studying up. Right. I've got seven perks to do, so I kinda wanna do can I do arcane yet? No, I still got five to go. Heavy armor. Uh, Blocking is important. Let's put a let's put a point in there. And don't do that. One-handed. That's important. Let's do that. Fifty percent more damage. Okay. Duration. Eventually, I'm going to start putting points into this, but not yet. Ooh, look, I've got 16, and the rest of them are 15. All right, I think that justifies a perk. Restoration stuff up spells. Make it a little easier. That's the direction I'm going. I really want to go towards this branch. This is the Ordinator Park rework. So, if you're not familiar with how this looks, this is Ordinator. I love this. These, uh, these new skill skill trees. So, yeah, down this certain, if you go down this path, Descending Light, rapidly regenerate, regenerate points of magic when you enter combat, equal to half of your restoration skill per uh, skill level per second. This effect gradually diminishes over the course of 15 seconds. Okay. Doesn't stop while casting. So that's good. That, that's definitely useful. Especially if you're using restoration skill uh, magic while fighting. Um, and then you head down this way. It was Warrior's Flame. Okay, it's about blessings and cursing, so... I'm mostly interested in this little branch of the tree, which is anti-undead perks. So here we go. Hallowed Burial. Your attacks and restoration spells and effects are 20% more powerful against undead enemies. That's right down Rain's path. And I'm not going to get that for another... 
14 points. That's down the road a bit. 24 points later. Um, study the arts of destroying the undead. Learning the sunblast spell. At 50, holy hands. See, these are great. These are great. These are like extra powers, the spells. Mm-hmm. These spells deal damage to the undead. A lot. And then you get to the top of this one. Targets within 30 feet are affected by a turn undead spell or effect burn. With Oh, okay. If you do a turn undead spell or some sort of effect, they, they burn within 30 feet of you. So it's kind of like you do a turn and they run away from you. If you catch up to them, they'll just melt in front of you slowly. 10 points of damage per second for, for 10 seconds. So not only are they not fighting you, they're, they're not engaging you, they are withering under the holiness of your proximity They're just your very presence is an affront to their existence and they melt and crumble it before you and your attacks and critical strikes deal 25 percent more damage when they're under this effect that's awesome you are truly yeah that, that's that's the undead hunters that that is the goal that's what that's what, those are the powers those are end game powers man okay so we've got new armor superior armor i don't have i don't have the materials to improve my helmet yet and we'll try to try to make the glove the gauntlets and the boots steal later but eh, well all in good time. Can't have everything at once. At this point, at this point in the stream, I need to take a break. And be right back. Oh, rain warms his hands. I save the game. screen and you can maybe watch his uh, it explains his backstory while I go and do my thing and I'll be right back I promise so enjoy Rain's backstory music by me by the way composed that that tune years ago 
and I did it in a couple hours. It wasn't a big thing. It was, it was during my composition project of doing a song a day, every day, for a year. And they didn't have to be long, and they didn't have to be good, they just had to be done. So that was one of those days I did in the year 2013. And it was a great project. It was, uh, I learned a lot. It changed the way I write music today. So seven years later, I am a different composer because of that project. Anyway, that's, that's a talk for a different stream. I'll wait it down on my... I am quite weighted down. Why? Well, because of the armor, that's why. I'm not just walking because I like to. I got ahead of myself. I should probably make a backpack. What? You looking for a new blade? No, I'm looking to sell looking some of my heavy junk. Or deal some damage. Sell my iron. Oh, I was gonna improve that shield, wasn't I? I didn't I do that? Did I do that? Oh yeah, I could I could. I didn't want it. Yeah. And if he had <clears throat> he had more steel, I, I would have take it. I could forge you a war hammer that would crack the giant's head like a wall. Hmm. Yeah, right. Looking to protect yourself? Damage. Don't need this anymore. Got tons of ore. What am I doing with all this stuff? Should I sell it? Because there, uh, there is no. All right. There is no smelter in this town that I know. to go to a town that has Okay. Oh wait, wait. Let's make a let's make a backpack, because that'll come in handy. It's fifty points of carrying carrying awesomeness. All we need looks like okay, we can make a black one. Make a black one with three more leather strips. Leather strips. Black fur backpack. Oh, and I can stick stuff on it. Do I want to do Mara on the back of that or Stendar? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep those necklaces. You the sneaky type? Got some nice daggers around here somewhere. <laughs> I never heard that line before. That's great. Are you the sneaky type? Got some nice daggers around here somewhere. Okay. That's a good one. Backpack earns you 50 points. That's awesome. And... I think I'm gonna put this necklace on just because going to save me a lot faster than this amulet of Mara, but I'll keep it. Because Mara is kind of my patron, my matron god. Okay. Let's 
Let's get moving. Great, so now if we get overloaded, we can throw the backpack on and continue on our way. That was it. It's already one? Jeez, where does the day go? And what are we doing? Somebody needs... Somebody's going to want to see that... That thing I picked up in the barrow. The, this thing. That looks really old. I got my coupon for a free iced coffee at a, your local Denny's. Alright. Somehow I don't think that's what it says. It's something more important. Anyway, we'll hold on to that. Big city from here. White run probably. What's this? Oh, I can kill the bandit leader. Okay. That's a good that's a good thing to do. Do it. Do that. You know, I don't want to get stuck without <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> without firewood this time. That's awful. Freezing to death. Not fun. I see firewood. Okay. Okay, DM. I pick up the firewood. You can't pick up the firewood. Why not? Mm, You're new around here. So I'll go easy on you. But don't get on my bad side. <laughs> okay. Frodnar. Get me mad, and I'll prank you. And not a little... Oh yeah? How does someone with a name like Frodnar get such a chip on his shoulder? I think in compensation. I think maybe, you know, if you have a name like Frodnar, you'd have to develop a chip on your shoulder. Oh, here we go. Dude's cutting logs. This guy. Okay, let's just chop some wood. Oh, it's raining. I'm not wearing my hide. My hide cloak. Firewood. You know, I think I really have use for all three of these stats or whatever. You know, isn't it nice um, being used to a game like D and D, where you have all these stats that give you bonuses and this and that, determine how many, how much, you know, how many bonuses you get for whatever, you know, in strength, intelligence, dexterity, wisdom, what is it, constitution, charisma. That's cool. Um, whoever design this game's I you know character building idea I wanted to strip it down to its bare like what stats can we possibly dissolve down to you know instead of having six of them they went down to three health stamina magicka um so magicka must be like wisdom and intelligence related health is strength and cause well, strength and dexterity, maybe. Stamina is constitution and strength. I don't know. Because, yeah. I like this system. I like the simplicity of it and having to practice what you want to build instead of just putting points into what you like. 
I like the system. That sounded like I was going to rant right there, didn't it? But no. I like this game. And I forgot what I was going to do. Um, okay. I have firewood in case things get cold. Alright, I was going to put on my... if I get more wet with the, with the helmet off. I don't know, so I'm going to go with my thoughts. Put on the helmet. Keep the rain off my head. Doesn't matter if it's better point-wise. This is the quietest I've been, I think, the entire time. I'm on my so way far. to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has the right of it. Right. The Empire is in shambles. They banned the worship of Talos. Yeah. What's up with that? Storm begins to let up. Oh, good. Get some sun. Sun is up. Out. The helmet comes off. Maybe we'll put on a different cloak. That's all right. Okay. What are these walls doing here? Oh, I see. Farmer Dan doesn't want Farmer Stan to get into his wheat field. Get your pigs out of my, my farm. Oh, oh, I was trying to jump. Laden. I have lots of water. 
four water skins. You know, I don't think I need four. I think two should do it. I've never run out to. Oh no, no courier, no courier. Leave me alone. No, I don't like courier. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. That's the Skyrim equivalent of me not wanting to look at my email. All right, it must be. And then, as in real life, I can only ignore my email for a little while before I go, all right, what does it say? Letter from the Jarl. Oh, yeah. Allow me to enter. Oh, he knows my name. Rain. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sigir. And I have the honor to be the Jarl and the proud of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. All right. Pretty humble for a Jarl. To introduce yourself as Sidgear. And I happen to be the Jarl, Falkreath. Instead of the other way around. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath, hold, I invite you to speak to me the next time you are in Falkreath. Aside from the honor that accrues to the title, my Thanes are entitled to a personal house carl. I also can tell you privately, I can also tell you privately, that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath would be available for your purchase should your services prove useful to me. Hmm, sweetening the deal. I look forward to meeting you in person. I remain Jarl Sigir of Falkreath. I'm not sure why he would cease to be during the course of this letter, but he remains the, the Jarl of Falkreath from the beginning to the end. That's a strange thing. Um, okay, so if we go to Falkreath, uh, and I, he's luring me in with two things. The honor of becoming a Thane. Apparently, he needs a Thane. Um, besides the honor, I get a, a, a personal house carl, which I think in Korean, that would be Shidabari. And in English, that would be butler. <laughs> Servant, I guess. Personal uh, secret service agent or something like that. Um, and then he quietly says that there's some land that he would kind of throw my way. Uh, he would make available for purchase. So it sounds like if I didn't know any better, I would say that the Jarl wants to sell some real estate that nobody's buying. <laughs> and he's kind of saying, you know, if you come by here and you're nice to me, I can give you some perks. I can make you a VIP member of my, you know, my hold. And then, you know, you could buy some property here. He didn't say at a discount. He just said, available for your purchase. Gee. Yeah, he sounds like a real estater. He sounds like he's got some fingers in the pie in the real estate industry in his hold. Well, he is the Arl. So maybe he's trying maybe he's maybe he's desperate for taxes. And he th he figures if he can get me living there. I'd start paying into his tax revenue. I don't know. There's no tax system in Skyrim in this game, but if this were real life, I'd be very dubious about it. Hmm. If it is even actually from the Arl, it sounds like a, it sounds like a, uh, you know, a, 
group letter, bulk letter. I'm not so sure about that. We'll see. I'll tuck it away and maybe if I'm in that neighborhood, I'll drop by and see what he's about. Where is Falkreath? You know, um, okay, down here. It's not that far. Here's where I am. And then we just go down here. Oh, it's not far from where I was. There's Helgen. Where I got toasted a hundred times from Orphan Rock. Yeah, I don't go back there. Yes, Rain tried to, <clears throat> in the previous episode, tried to go the route of learning restoration magic from Danica Pure Spring in Whiterun. And she said, yeah, we have this tree here and it's dying and it's not bring it's not very pretty so if we want to attract pilgrims we want a prettier tree so if we want to save the tree you can help okay how can i help well um the problem is that we need to it's a magic tree so we need to get the the special sap from its parent tree and okay so there's a there's a bigger magical tree than this one okay so we need to get the sap oh you can't just take the sap it's, you have to get a special dagger that extracts the sap so all right i don't like this already where do i find this dagger oh a, a group of witches owns the dagger and you have to kill them and get it from them huh Okay, so the fool I was, I said, okay, I can do this. So I ran to Orphan Rock and met nothing but fiery fireball doom over and over and over again. <laughs> right here on my stream. And yeah, it was hilarious. And then I did the dumb thing of saving between, I, I killed one of the hags and then so i was all like all right i killed one quick save and then i died the next minute and then the quick save put me right back into the path of a fireball so it was just this endless loop so all i had to do was put my hands up and just boom reload boom <laughs> dead reload <laughs> it was lost have you ever done that have you ever been in that it's very humbling. It was humbling. So, I had to choose an earlier save. I don't like to do that kind of thing. I'm not a permadeath kind of RP player, but yeah, there was no choice. It was, it was replaying some. It, it was. It would be like one of those. Uh, Dante's Inferno kind of death, you know, levels of hell where you just keep reliving your own fiery death die. over and More over again sad. throughout eternity, infinitely. It's like the worst Groundhog Day you can imagine. If you're heading east, steer clear of Hillgoods too. Think about those so that was what happened last time. If you want to watch the video, it should be up. But, um... I had two viewers that I, I mentioned earlier, and they were I'm sure they were shaking their heads in disbelief. This guy is an idiot. Yeah, he was kind of an idiot. Why am I in Whiterun? Because I was talking about something completely else. Okay, I got some gold. I'm going to go up to their priest. Or not their priest, the their wizard. Maybe I'll avoid Danica because work? she thinks I'm off you. trying to find this <laughs> wicked dagger, and I haven't haven't done her quest, so I'm gonna kind of try to avoid her. Okay, I'm done. I think that's her. Is that her? Okay, I'm gonna avoid her. There's a rift. Can't neither magic nor the. The shrine of Talos. 
by the nine. By the ninth. Okay. Has enough time. Our elven overlords. Sherry the heaven. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. No. Yeah. Push back. Push cat, push back. You'll get respect. You probably don't want to hear this, but while we're kind of marching around, I'll tell a story. Okay, but not right now. You. Come to Dragon's you look Reach like a wizard. to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Let's see what Spells he's got. and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. He's got a nice variety of stuff. Spell books. Backlash is good. It's a little pricey. It's illusion. Well, let's all stick with the restoration stuff. Bone spirit. That could be fun. Let's get that. Okay, restoration. Circle of strength. Not quite yet. Okay, divine channel. Nine dimension, closer, long distance. This kind of divine energy, kind of like, whoosh, kind of reminds me of the the uh, in D and D. There's a oh, what is it called? What's the subclass of? It's, it was, in, I think I saw it in um, Neverwinter Nights. There's a, they have this sort of arcane attack. Oh, what are they called? Oh man, I'm not gonna remember it. Forget it. Drop zone, oh, that's fun. But not yet, not there yet. Enhanced speed, it's alteration. Fast healing. 57 points. That'll come in handy. Do, 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 do. Healing, got it. Healing hands, that heals someone else. But not undead. Good. Okay. I have a Mara. For 30 seconds, you gain 35% of the health the target loses. That's cool. So if you... The target. So if you tag an enemy for 30 seconds, if you... Okay, so if I hit them with the spell and then whittle them, whittle them away with my mace or sword, every time they lose health, I gain... 35% of that. That's not bad. That is not bad. Let's come back to that one, but I like it. Unlearn? That's really expensive. Mystic Wind. For 10 seconds, restores 5 points of magicka while the sprinter is casting. Or while the, sprint, while the caster is sprinting. The sprinter is casting. What's wrong with me? Necroplague. Ooh. Infects a corpse with a spreading virus that deals 10 disease damage for 30 seconds to non-mechanical foes. 
That's nasty full. A little pricey. Well, we'll come back to that one. There's, you know, he's, this is early game. Oak flesh. I think I have that one. Okado's recital. Okay, this one. This I like. This spell lets you store three spells that will fire on you. Like beneficial spells, I guess. Yeah, they're beneficial spells. On you whenever you enter combat. So it's kind of like once you've done this, you can every time you enter combat, you just kind of whoosh, these things kind of buff you up automatically. It's kind of like it, it, it serves as a kind of alarm system, whoosh, like a spidey sense, like a rush of adrenaline in a way, but it's magic. It's awesome. Definitely buying it. I don't know if I can cast it yet, but I'm buying it. Very useful. Okay, I'm not raising zombies. I'm not raising walls. I'm not reanimating anything. Resistance field. That's super expensive. If I use Akato, I'm going to want to use the resistance field. Do I get that now or later? All right. I should make a list. I should make a shopping list for this guy. I'm really glad I came. To this the cellar. And bolt. Slay living. Kills a living target in melee range with twenty-five percent or less. Ooh, it's pretty harsh. Soul cloak, nope. Soul trap, nope. It's against his principles. Steadfast ward. That's alright. Stone flesh. Okay, I think I have. I have oak flesh. Okay, I have oak flesh, which is 40 points. Stone flesh is 60. Alright, step by step. We'll do one at a time. And these are a bunch of summon spells. Not a summoner. Thought steel, okay. Turn undead. Hey, hello. That's 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 what I need. Turn lesser undead. Up to level six. Yeah, that's totally me. Okay. Welling blood. Curses a living target. If the target loses at least 60% of its maximum health within eight seconds, it dies. Okay, so if I pound the target down. Okay, so if I do 60% of its health damage within eight seconds, it's gone. That could help never used it before maybe it's time but no but not right now we'll say we'll, we're saving a lot of these spells for later because you know we're gonna be crafting stuff smithing armor improving it selling stuff pillaging evildoers and selling their junk and you know money will come that's what they say, you know, do what you love and the money will follow. Same in this game. Wither. Reduces a target's movement speed and attack damage by 5% each second for 22 seconds. So wouldn't by wouldn't 20 seconds later? Yeah, wouldn't 20 seconds be 100%? 
Okay, so I guess it means that they're... So by the 20, 20th second, wouldn't they be down to zero? Am, am I doing that math right? Yeah, 20 times five is 100, right? Okay, so maybe maybe I'm assuming that they're not re they're not regaining movement speed. Yeah, I don't know. Or it reaches 100 percent at 20 at the 20th second and then hangs on just for two more seconds just to spite them. I don't know. That sounds cool though. I'm in. Slowing down and weakening enemies, I'm, you know, that sounds great. Wild healing. Okay, so what have I got so far? I got Bone Spirit, which is a cast of Vengeful Spirit that homes in on the target and explodes for 57. 57. It's not a lot, but okay. It sounds cool damage magic damage to undead so yeah maybe I can throw a bone spirit and then go back to my slashing and f fighting and it'll explode on them later I don't know we'll see how that works got that fast healing yep can't be bad less reward because so I don't have to just blunder up to magic users while they're casting fire on me oak flesh will be good i can put oak flesh into okado's recital and two more which will probably be resistance and something else i don't know i haven't decided for my other characters when i use okado's it's 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 a uh, it's a uh, something like oak flesh or iron flesh or something that improves your armor rating and then some sort of resistance, you know, against fire or frost or magic or something. And then third one for me is always um, soul cloak, which automatically steals the soul of your fallen enemies within a certain amount of time. Automatically, you don't have to cast um, soul steel. What's it called? Soul. I don't, I don't remember the name of it, but you, usually you have to, if you want to steal someone's soul, you cast a spell on them and um, and then you get you get to keep their soul. But since my character is a soul, soul trap, okay, that's called soul trap. But the other one is soul cloak. For a long time, 132 seconds, if your hostile targets die, their soul goes right into your awaiting empty soul gem, which is completely anathema to my character's whole reason for living. So, nope. What was that other one? <clears throat> Resistance field, that's the one. It's really exp I know I can't afford it, so forget it. That's out. Pale Shadow. Mystic Wind. Mystic Wind. Well, let's get that for fun. Alright, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. You don't say. That's not a bad idea. I may just do that. Let's sit in this chair, knock over that goblet, and look at my bald head. Okay. And while he's reading books, he's not going to read them all, because I'll explain why later, but I'm going to take a break. And I'll be right back. Sorry, didn't mean to belch in your ear. There we go, back to this, and I'll be back in a moment. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Calabrinius, sorry, I didn't notice you. I don't know how long your message has been there. I've been kind of in my own world. 14 hours plus. My goodness. I've never done that. I hope you weren't waiting long. Okay. Um, hey, yeah, I guess we ran into each other at on um, Izzy's Twitch earlier. That was pretty cool. Okay, I'll take a break. <laughs> right. You don't want to see me on the edge of a break. So here we go. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, looks like I forgot to turn up the music. Sorry about the silence there. How have you been? Checking my levels, okay. What was that no? What was that no? No music, is that what you meant? We're learning new spells. It's just kind of getting into the restoration school. So what are the first ones? And my rule for myself, just for immersion, um, I'm not just gonna go chung, 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 and pretend like I've read all these books. I put an hour of game time, uh, not real time, but game time into each book. That's pretty generous, I think. So I think the first thing I'm gonna learn is Okado's recital. That's one. Turn Lesser Undead, definitely two. And then Oak Flesh, three. And that's all he's gonna learn right now. Then we go wait three hours. So that's his afternoon <clears throat> of reading these spells so he gets up Spell. so okay we're gonna we're gonna put Okados in the left hand a uh, right hand and oak flesh in the left so that's one He's gonna kind of buff himself up Oh, cool. Yep. All right, that worked. But that's oak flesh. I should put this down because I always forget. And there's nothing. There's nothing that tells me which spells I've put into Okados. That was oak flesh. 
Got it. So every time he goes into combat, he gets oak flesh cost upon him. Are there any others? Well, that's it for that duration. Yeah, that's it for now. We'll, we'll, we'll have more to do later. But turn lesser undead, yeah, gonna need that. Okay. Good. All right, that's a good start. And when he gets a chance to study some more, he will. But three books, three spells, that's enough for now. So what's been up, Calibernius? grabbed uh, well, uh, yeah while you were away I grabbed the I was in the um, the bleak falls barrow and grabbed the dragon stone because I was on the quest for that traitor in Riverwood and I'm gonna use a little meta knowledge forgot kind of what uh <laughs> so I've, i'm carrying around the dragon stone but oh I, I, oh I think we need to be on that helgen quest right do we no it doesn't matter no <laughs> short answer no we can be on one okay bandit leader damn those gray mates to oblivion that's right over here. That's right. Wanna back the yes. storm cloaks? They'll get what's coming to them. Alright, you were making Hello, mods. Friend. Patron of the great clan battle boy. I'm imagining what, what did he look like at the you know 14th hour? Is he still going? They say there's nothing a Nord woman can do if she puts her mind to it. Fading fast. Okay. <laughs> You even know it just by not looking at him that he's fading away. Yeah, 14 hours? My goodness. I hope he makes money off of the streaming thing because I get tired after an hour. And I've been at it for two here. And the, the other night it was almost four. That's a record for me. 14? Good God, man. I don't think I'd want to do anything for 14 hours straight. That's dedication. And actually, I'm off to bed soon. So, in about 25 minutes, I'm out. That's just because I gotta work in the morning. Uh, very mellow. Full beige. Yeah, you too? Mm-hmm. Uh, as me too as in you gotta work in the morning or wait a minute you're in Oregon so it's night or no it's it's uh it's probably morning for you or have you been up all night oh off to bed okay you're the night owl don't work I'm old <laughs> I work with my mother. Retirement. And vegetables. It's fun most days. Hard work. Is it as good as they say? I'd be a lot warmer. Imagine the experience varies from person to person.
You're not old. Old is relative. Very wise, I get it. Yeah, you can tell I'm thinking about what you're saying because my character does a lot of this back and forth. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just thinking about what you said. Yeah, it is. It's pretty, huh? You said your EMB was really cool. This is okay. Oh, what time is it? About 6.40. On set. Yeah, but not with this game. N not with, not with uh, Twitch. I've used it in Star Citizen just to communicate with org members. Okay, maybe you can help me. Oh yeah, I look at your, our, you know, stream. Good look at it. Okay, maybe you can help me out. Um, Corundum, is that how it's pronounced? It? The ore. Corundum. We were talking about pronunciation earlier. Is it Corundum? Or Corundum? Or Corundum? Or blah, 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 blah. Corundum. 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 Cor Corundum. Corundum. Oh, right. Corundum. All right. That's how I'm going to say it from now on. You could be right or wrong, but I'm going to assume that you're right. Corundum. Thank you. And that is the sound of my stomach growling for food. well hydrated and well rested how about well sated um, cabbage carrot there we go hmm always a wise assumption to assume that you're correct Proceed under that assumption that you are correct. You seem a right knowledgeable sort. Oh. Why don't I just get between this giant and his mammoths? Luckily, they are not so. picky about people. 
being around. Just go up in their face and they'll, they'll launch you into the orbit. <laughs> Batter up. That's funny. That kind of humility is uh, few and far between. It's good. It's rare. Oh, I'm in combat. Okay. That's why I can't mine. Oh, okay, I'm being fired upon. Great. Helmet on, shield up. Come on. I got two of them. I can take you. Ooh, okay. You can try. Ooh, they're. You can try. Hey, they're doing a good job of keeping out of each other's line of sight. I don't have arrow. Yeah. Mad mud crabs and bandits, my favorite. Gold. Yeah, carrying one coin of gold. No wonder they're shooting people randomly. I need gold. Venison. Mm, okay. Mead. Okay. Kind of dried up stream bed. Okay, baby. Yeah, don't feel bad. Yeah, arrow, arrow interception, yep. Deflect arrows, yeah. Yeah, I got four points to go on that one. Yeah, I like that one. It's very satisfying. Silva. <laughs> okay. Just over the carry li li limit. Though we bust out our newly made backpack. Yeah. Useful and fashionable. Right? Spider sense is tingling. Hey, buddy. What spell's going on? Come closer. Get flanked. Stop it. Okay, got some archers. Hey. You can stop shooting with arrows so I can belt you in the front. Ages. Okay, let's use our new. Oops. 
how I didn't learn the to go. You're talking about the my svelte black backpack. Yeah, it's very svelte. You know, it's better to look good than to feel good. I choose to be both. Award. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I, I, I have a ward spell, I just haven't read the book yet. And because of my whole... See, I have a I have lesser ward, but... Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Feeling good becomes higher up on the priority list when you start feeling the pain. Ooh, that's pretty. I managed to get them. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So they they only work in the moonlight. Light armor forging. Oh, okay, that's something I would like. Okay, we'll, we'll set that aside for night reading. Okay. And this sword. Lunar. Okay, when the moons are out. Okay. That's not bad, actually. 23 versus 25. But only when the moons are out, so save that. And here's a chest. Yeah, I know. Um I've actually been playing this game for nine years since it came out, and I'm just I just pretend like I don't know what's going on because I'm kind of lightly RPing this character, so I, I'm Okay, you know. Okay. I'm just playing dumb. <laughs> I'm not dumb, I just play one on, on Twitch. <laughs> Heavy armor forging. <laughs> That's okay. I sound clueless and I need help. That sounds like I need help. We'll take these. And we'll take this too. I like to read the books. I know that's really boring for viewers, but, and I don't read them on the spot because that's not practical. But when I get into a tent at night, which we're getting there, that's when I do my leveling up and reading books and memorizing spells and stuff. Like I would do in a D&D &D game. Oh, I suppose I could go in here. useful. We're doing that one. Yeah. Anything to save on carrying weight, right? Let's go to restoration. The new there. It's all early game. Okay. 
Yeah, block could be better. Ooh, I'm three points away. Yeah, why not? I can four points. The timed block is fun. I do a lot of blocking, so. I think I'm about five minutes away from calling it a night. Wow, to hear about that guy doing 14 plus hours, that's just, wow. Wrap my head around that. and heal. the sound of... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. That makes me fun. That makes me laugh. You brought a knife to a mace fight, dude. Banded Iron Shield. 31 versus 33. I don't want to carry you around. Yeah, nah. One cabbage from there. One cabbage from here. shield. That sounds like fun. Where is Ariel? stuff of course because they built they make them upstairs okay cool there it is bread oh, slaughter fish slaughter fish Stones. 
That sounds familiar. I, I don't I don't know exactly where that is, but I'm that's that's good advice. That is good advice. I might want to do that. Okay. And we're up out of here. And I am up out of here. So I gotta go to bed. I gotta go teach. I gotta teach Anglais in the morn. On the morrow. Teaching brilliant university students how to better improve their English. Even though I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, take care, man. Cal. Thanks for dropping by again. Um, we're gonna call it, call it right here. And do turn in, do, do, do turn, return, do return for a, for the next installment of Rain's wonderful adventures of vengeance. Take care.